Hi guys, this is Paula with Beadsaholic, and today I have the full collection of the latest release from Red Volley Frog Spread Your Wings. In this release, we have Mothra, a Sunflower, and Bee Lock, a Mandarin Duck, Lovebirds, and a Flying Fish. So let's, my favorite, I'm going to start with it, is the Mothra has a very much Art Nouveau design. I just, I was just super excited for this bead. The design, I love moths, so this is perfect for me. Um, if you're familiar with the Deadhead Moth, I love that one. And I was hoping that other brands would bring out more moths. So I was happy to see this one in design. Um, the wings are just so beautiful and you can see you know the hair and everything from the face her eyes are closed which to me is perfect because I prefer the eyes to be closed in a design instead of just like a blank look she has a crystal at the top you can see the eyes of the moth right here little antennas and when you flip it over you have two loops and this is more or less to keep it stable on a bracelet or a bangle or even a necklace. I think that this bead looks beautiful on leather, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Or like a leather necklace or a leather bracelet works perfectly fine on the bangle as you'll see in photos on the blog. And I mean, it looks great on a bracelet too. So over and all, this is a wonderful bead and I think it's going to be rather popular. On to the next one. I'm going to show the flying fish. Which is a cool design. I like the way he's standing. Like he's jumping out of the water. The detailing is always fantastic. When it comes to red body frog, you get a, a nice weighted bead design and they're they are extremely reasonably priced so you're getting a, a lot in these designs for the lowest price in the market honestly and these designs are just I mean they're beautiful on to the next one is the mandarin duck how cute is this guy the detailing Look at his wings. And his little beak. And what I thought was cool about this bead is his little feet on the bottom. How awesome is that? And I just love the little, you know, this texture that they've given it right through here as well. It's just so cute. Imagine him floating around in a pond or a lake. It's beautiful. Next up is going to be the Lovebirds. Another favorite from this design, from this release. And look at the feathering details on these beads. I mean, you can even see how they're ruffled. If you've ever seen two lovebirds sitting together on a perch or in a tree, you know, they puff out and they ruffle their feathers like that some. So it's just amazing the detail that's paid attention here. And I mean, even the beaks are a bit curved, like a parrot would be, or a lovebird. And you see their, the feather design on the back. So pretty. And when it sits on the bracelet, it sits like flat, like this. I mean, that's how it sits on the bracelet. So it's really nice. I can show that to you too. It's got two little hearts here. And here's the bottom side. Whoops, and then I dropped it. <laughs> Sorry about that. But um, the designs are just really beautiful. The detailing. And as you could hear when it hit, it wasn't a light bead either. And then on to the next one is going to be the Sunflower in Bee Lock. It's a beautiful sunflower and a cute little bee right here. Like it just flew in for a landing. 
I really like this look and if you're familiar um, with the Red Belly Frog line, they have a bee queen and another bee theme. I'm trying to remember the name of it, but those beads are going to go amazingly with this look. They also have a sunflower bead, which will also look really nice with it. They have a whole bee theme with honey and just all different types of charms that um, will really fit into this theme. So if you, bees have been popular this last year in bracelet designs and beads. So I think this lock will match a lot of the brands out there. It works on both troll beads and red belly frog. And um, any, any bracelet system that requires this type of lock. Basically, it opens like this and goes onto the small end of the chain. And then this is the end that you take and hook. I'll show you on, um, I have a red belly frog leather here. And I will put the Mothra. Sorry for that close up on my hand. On here, it just threads through like that. And then you take and you latch it on like this. And then you connect this in here. Now this is just for those who are not familiar with this type of system. If you're used to wearing Pandora, the barrel locks, um, you can't change out the decorativeness of those. And um, but as you can see, it looks really pretty on here. And there's the decorative lock. So it gives you something nice and it also gives you a little bit of weight in the back to hold your design on top, which is a nice touch because you can't do that with certain brands that are that have barrel locks. Um, but that's a nice addition. You can do that. I also wanted to show you how to move that over out of the way, how the lovebirds sit. I'll throw a couple of beads so that you can see them next to beads. I'm going to throw some ogre beads on here just to show the glass beads next to it. I'm outside, so please forgive me for the noise in the background. As you can see, it sits lovely between, and when you lay it down on your wrist, it's going to sit just like this. And that's how it's going to look between your beads. So, I mean, it's a nice little touch. Um, on the back side of the wrist, you're going to see, of course, the back side of the birds, etc. Um, the Mandarin duck sits basically the same way. But because the design is flat on the back, you can kind of choose how you want it to sit. I really like it this way, though. This is how it's going to sit on your wrist. That's how it's going to look which is beautiful if you ask me. So, with that said, um, as far as the flying fish, you can wear that either on a bracelet or you can wear it on, an, on a necklace, just whichever you decide to do. Um, even with the longer pendants, a lot of us like to wear it on a bracelet. And you'll notice in some of my designs on Beatsaholic that I tend to put dangles on a bracelet as well. Um, this is all today for Red Belly Frog. There's five pieces, five new pieces, and I have the full review on Beadsaholic.com if you would like to see the photos and these beads in action. And so I, I hope you guys have a great evening, and I will speak to you soon. Morning. Have a good day. Bye-bye.